Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Pastor John here. I was just reading through uh, uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, this morning, and uh, there were some verses that just kept resonating with me, and I uh, came down uh, here to the church and uh, doing some, some work around the church, and I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, where Paul is encouraging the believers in Thessalonica. Uh, about the day of the Lord. And he says, uh, Now is the times and the epics, brethren, you have no need of anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know well that the day of the Lord will come just as a thief in the night. While they were saying peace and safety, then destruction will come upon them suddenly like labor pains upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness. And those words just blessed me. Because it seems like things are kind of dark and gloomy right now. But he says, you are not in darkness that the day would overtake you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of day. We are all not of the night nor of darkness. And we walk in the light of the glory of Jesus Christ. What a powerful realization to know that even though things around us are dark, we don't walk in darkness. He says, for you are sons of light and sons of day. And he says, so then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober. This is not a time for the church to be asleep, but for us to be wide awake. Amen. He says, for those who sleep do their sleeping at night, and those who get drunk get drunk at night. But since we are of the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I love what he says there in verse 8. He says, but, but since we are of the day, let us be sober. And that, that's the idea of having all of our faculties, having all of our spiritual senses about us, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and we, we have that breastplate of, of faith and love. Our faith is what protects us, and the breastplate protects the heart. And so our heart is protected through faith. And he says, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. And we wear that helmet of salvation because of the grace of Jesus Christ. And he goes on and he says, for God has not destined us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we will live together with him. Therefore, and this is the verse that just jumped out at me, verse 11, therefore encourage one another and build up one another just as you also are doing. And so I want to encourage you and I want you to know that we can be built up one another in Jesus Christ. So God bless you. Have a great uh, rest of your day. And uh, join us uh, tomorrow evening, Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. We'll be live streaming on Crossroads Living Room. So God bless you and God be with you.